Hey, Matt from the A-Team here, and today on Format Film School, we're gonna be modifying the shape of somebody's face just by moving the light. Let's check it out. So, I've been curious, specifically about how light can change the way a face looks. When it comes to lighting, there are three main characteristics you can change. The color, the quality, and the direction. Light direction refers to where a light is coming from in a scene. Is it coming from directly in front of your subject? Or is it coming from the side? Or is it even over the shoulder? Different light placements can change the way the subject looks within a scene. Today we have our friend Giselle here again, and we're going to light him from all different directions to see how light direction changes the shape of his face. Let's take a look. So here we are on set, let's begin. The first thing we had set up is a gray backdrop, but to light it we have two Nova panels, the P300Cs, both with soft boxes to create a nice even spread of light. So the light we're using for this demonstration today is our classic 120D Mark II with the Light Dome Mini 2. We have a layer of diffusion in front to help soften the light, and then another layer of grid to help direct that soft light just onto our talent. So the first thing we tested out was the height of our light. Should it be at eye level, high above, or down below? And each different height gave us different results and different shadows spreading across the face. We noticed that the most pleasing was high above the actor, considering that the drop shadows created by the chin and the nose gave us a nice dynamic shape. Our first common light placement is about 45 degrees away from our camera, and this is creating an interesting triangular shape on the opposite side of the actor's face. This is what's known as the Rembrandt light. And it's also the most common technique because it's just eye-pleasing. A lot of people like how it creates dynamic shadows and shapes on the actor's face. Our other common light placement is putting the light behind our talent by about 45 degrees on either side. This helps sharpen the face by adding an accent on the chin and maybe even the nose. So let's take a look at how our light placement shapes the face. Time for a recap. The first thing you want to think about is what kind of look you're going for. Do you want your subject to look more flattened, or do you want them more three-dimensional? And second, placing your lights at 45 degrees above your subject and 45 degrees on either side is a good place to start for flattering lighting. Just remember everyone's face is different, and certain lighting placements will look better on certain people. Experiment with different placements on your subjects to see what best fits what you're going for. 